Okay, I went to a story time video moving out at 18. Why? Because as a young Muslim girl, moving out at 18 is like a really rare thing to do because not a lot of people get the opportunity to do that. I know I've been really, really blessed to be able to do that, but I just thought I wanted to like sit down and just do like a really chatty video of how I did it and everything leading up to there and a really, really long story. So if you guys like long stories and you like hearing my voice, then carry on watching. You might want to get yourself some popcorn, but let's start. So this is the topic that I wanted to talk about mostly because like I said it's almost like a bit taboo to talk about moving out especially like before you're married because I ain't got no ring on my finger so I kind of wanted to like talk about that all in one video because I know that as a Bengali a lot of other Bengali parents just don't want you to move out because I don't know it's sort of like a controlling protective thing going on um I moved out at 18 when I finished my college life and the way it went is I was applying to go to university and at this point to like literally think of it we're coming to like the middle of covid era I thought my grades were so shit so shit that I wasn't even going to get into uni so I live in Cambridge my whole life I've been born and brought up in Cambridge and in Cambridge there's two ends of the spectrum you either go Cambridge University which wasn't me at that point it just wasn't or Anglia Ruskin which is like on the other side of the spectrum probably like 150th on the world like i'm sorry like national league ranking table of unis so for me as someone who felt like in between there i wanted to like challenge myself and like, apply to other unis so that's kind of like what i did i did the whole application process i applied to i literally don't remember it feels like a lifetime ago even though it was only like four years ago oh five now that we're in 2024 i applied to nottingham trent university of leicester UEA which is University of East Anglia I think there were two more but I just mainly remember those three and then I did my oh sorry I had ARU as well as like my backup so then we had to pick two one is your top choice one is your safety net choice and they can't have like the same requirements because obviously if you don't get that where are you gonna go so I remember I put UEA first which is in Norwich because I fully like had to like think of everything I was like which city do I want to go to how far do I want to be Nottingham is quite far I don't really want to go there Leicester uh it just wasn't really like for me from what i looked at in terms of like living there and the people there etc not a really way sorry if you're from leicester but i think norwich was more like for me crime rates were lower it was generally safer it was just a bit like a bit of cambridge you know like but smaller up until results day i thought that's it i'm gonna just stay here i'm gonna stay in cambridge and go to anglia ruskin my hopes were like rock bottom that's basically what i thought then i remember results day comes up i check my ucas and it says congratulations you've been accepted into uba and when i saw that on my screen that's when i was like what the hell like it's actually become real i'm moving out i'm not gonna live in this house anymore and it kind of like hit me like a tornado like it fully hit me in the face and i was like oh my god and i remember like telling my aunties on a group chat and everything one of my aunties came and she like congratulated me and i remember this wrist i remember this moment vividly where like she came to the door and we were like hugging and like she was crying and i was like why are you crying and she's like you're moving and that was like funny because it didn't hit me at that point i was more like excited and as well as that, i was more like unprocessed that it actually is happening so i feel like um i found out in august and i moved in end of september early october time because like our academic year just started later and it fully didn't hit me until i start buying things to move out like I start having to buy my own kitchen stuff, spices, etc. All of that, like all of that. That's when it hit me that crap, I'm not living in this house anymore. Then first year, I remember like a couple weeks after I got my um, place at UBA, I went to like visit it. So I remember my dad drove, it took like about an hour. I went with my auntie, my cousin and my parents and we saw the campus, we saw like the accommodation and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, like I'm gonna be living here, what the hell? and um i think before that like i did speak to my parents about moving out but again like because i just set the bar so low and i just told them to expect me to just stay at home no one really ever thought i would move out but my parents were still like really supportive in the sense that they allowed me to put that as an option anyway so i think the main thing to them was distance which is funny considering the fact that i'm a 10 hour flight away from home now but who knew who knew that will come to that part later so I was 18 at that point like I my birthday is early in the academic year so I was still 18 I turned 19 in that October but um, I remember like this moment so clearly where my parents were like are you sure this is what you want to do like it's not too late to back out and they're like are you sure and I was like yeah even though in my head I was like I have no idea what I'm doing in my life <laughs> 
it was bittersweet because I was excited because do you know what do you know what really helped me to, to make this big step is that when I was in year 11 I did like um, a residential trip and even though it was in Cambridge University and I'm from Cambridge it was just a chance to move out away from home and like live in dorms for like a week and like live with different people go to lectures blah 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 sort of like NCS but I didn't do NCS because I went to Bangladesh that summer and that gave me like a feel for what university would be like which made me so excited because that was the best week ever like literally up until that point in my life where I was like about to go to uni that was the best week I've ever had in my life because it was so much fun I got to meet so many new people and like I'm still friends with like those girls to this day and um, we just had such a good time in that week and I was like damn this is what uni is gonna be like and I can't wait for it so a part of me was like excited like I was very excited basically and then it came the dreaded moving day this was like I want to say like 25th of September I think I just put my granddad in like a giant taxi so I had all my stuff there I had like luggages we had the clothes I had like boxes to move stuff in I had um my pots pans etc like so much shit that I was moving in then I had my parents with me I had my brother I had my grandma because his car was like a giant car and I had my auntie so one auntie with me and then we were moving in so at first we went and then like, I found out where my accommodation was moved all my stuff in and like at this point it still didn't feel real because after that we all went out for dinner and then I remember the moment where like my parents were leaving, where like all my family were leaving and that was like really sad because at this point I hadn't met anyone in my dorm yet but I remember we came back from dinner in like this little place in Norwich and um, I kind of like, you can see the kitchen when you're walking in and I remember like looking in and seeing all my roommates and I was like oh my god I'm gonna live with these people for the next year and I don't know who they are and but I was like also like semi prepared to just go in and just be myself and everything and then I remember going to my room and that was when I had the final goodbye from like all my family and that was like sad. I literally was in like a heap of tears saying bye to everyone and then I kind of like walked them out and they said bye and that was it. That's when it hit me that I was like oh my god like I'm stuck here in this place for like a year like that's what three but in that specific place for a year and I was like oh shit. And then I was like Do you know what I wipe my tears I'm gonna go to the kitchen and like just just chat to them just talk to them you know. I think um definitely like going out of my comfort zone was just the best thing that I did honestly because it taught me so much so much about myself about like relationships around me about growth about adulting like that's when I was like crap I'm an adult I have to worry about like bills now and rent and grocery shopping and all of that kind of stuff it was kind of different for me in first year because um I went back and forth like home a lot my parents would pick me up so they would like cook for me and like I would do my washing at home etc second year that changed it was sort of like a step up because I got a car which meant that I wasn't doing my own grocery shopping. I wasn't going back home as often. I lived in a house off campus, so that was really different. I had to like organize my own bills, utilities, amenities, etc. I did my own laundry as well. So like, it was sort of like a step up into like the taster of like real adult life. That was, um, that was a story in itself. First year was fun because it was like a mix of girls and boys. We were living together. There was like drama. There was like gossip and juicy stuff going on in the flat a little bit of flat cest but in that sense it was like it, it was kind of fun it kept our flat on edge everyone's personalities were so different and we had such an interesting dynamic but we were really lucky because we all just got along so well like it was a very cohesive flat i have to say we were just it was good like i really do miss first year of uni second year was different because like i said i moved in with four other girls three of them were, i already knew we were friends and one of them we just met her on facebook because someone else backed out last minute and then we lived in a house like a normal house five bedroom luckily that was all on suite rooms and that was about like 10 minutes away from campus so that was um again like fully just letting go and settling into adult life that was a very different experience um but nonetheless it was a good learning experience in terms of homelessness i don't think i really recall feeling it in first year I think like, the first couple weeks were hard it was really really hard for me to adjust but one thing which really really helped me is having like a good network of friends and I know it's hard to make friends but I was really lucky because I joined this app called Unify and I made one of my closest friends there um her name was Anna and she was like a Muslim revert and we made friends through that app and luckily she lived in the ziggurats accommodation which was probably like a five minute walk from me and we met up really really often we both luckily studied the same degree we were both doing psychology and we started off just doing like 
online lectures together on every Monday and then from that like because we had this weekly thing we were seeing each other a lot I would save things to like tell her and um that made our connection like so much closer so that was really nice I'm so glad I had Anna and then in the flat I also had like a really 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 close friend Anna Yell she was my flatmate um we honestly became like best friends just really living together she was on the ground floor I was on the top floor but we kind of shared the kitchen which was on the ground floor and I like quite often would go and just spend a lot of time with her she was like my debrief friend at the start I'd knock on her door every day and like just tell her stuff that was going on in my day and in my life and she was there for advice because I was like we were polar opposites in the sense that I was so extroverted she was so introverted and I was out all the time living my uni life she was in all the time and like, I'd come back and then our two worlds would collide and that's how we became like really really good friends so I'm so glad that I had her because honestly she made Constable Terrace which is where I lived um feel like home and i feel like if you don't have someone that feels like home you will feel homesick and that helped me so much like that massively helped me having my two annas anna and Annielle. so thank you annas if you're watching this video <laughs> okay so things got interesting in second year because i wanted to take her up a notch and i was like i was able to move out at 18 i was able to go an hour away from where i lived but i want to go abroad and this happened when um khadija who was my friend that i lived with in the second year she was doing a study abroad program because she like enrolled with that in her degree and she was telling me all about it and at this point we were in second year and it was my birthday October so it was October 2021 October 2022 it was 22 because it was last year oh but we're in 2024 now oh man I'm so confused but I'm sure it's 2022 and um she was telling me like she's applying for a study abroad program and she was showing me like all of the different like country that do the economics program that she wants to do and i was really interested in this and i was like damn like i want to do this as well honestly like what opportunities are out there available for me as well but then uh, after that, i spoke to my advisor and i was like hello can i transfer my degree to a four-year degree with a year abroad and there was a lot of paperwork i had to do at this stage it was really long because i had to like uh, apply and get signatures and approval and all of that kind of stuff and then came the part of telling my parents that wasn't easy let's put it that way at first they weren't having it my mom just didn't want to hear it when i put it on the group chat with my aunties i got a lot of mixed responses um my mom was very negative about it at the start because she just couldn't understand why i wanted to do it or needed to do it for that matter and um we just never had the conversation about it because it was uh just a conversation that just wasn't had basically because my mom just didn't want to hear it so then i kind of like started 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 applying anyway but i didn't submit any application i just started like looking at different choices and stuff like that for universities abroad and different courses etc and i started speaking to my study abroad team quite a lot as well as other people that had already done the program the year before me then once i got a lot of information that's when i started like selling it to my mom because like i had things to answer her questions with like for example the costs um how long it would be what i would be learning etc grading etc all of that kind of stuff and that's when i was like hello mom the freaking like deadline is almost due i need to like submit my application can i do it or like is it a firm no i was like really just testing my luck here and that's when she was like it's up to your dad and i spoke to my dad he always wanted to study in america and my top choice at this moment were like all in america and like two was in canada and that's when uh he was kind of like fine so when he said fine i was like listen like, i can apply but that doesn't mean i'm gonna get in and that doesn't mean i will accept my offer i just want to just try it out test the waters you know what i mean so that's what i did i applied to like 10 different universities i did my whole statement i did all my application i did all my research all of that and i wrapped it up by like end of november and bear in mind october was when i was like initially super interested even though i did show interest before but anyway then December, I got my allocation, which was Wyoming University. I don't want to go there. I did apply there because I had to apply to 10, but that was like eighth on my list of rankings. So I declined it and I was like, do you know what? It's not meant to be. That's fine. I'm just going to go into my third and final year in Norwich and I start looking at houses and that kind of stuff, like ready to just live in Norwich and do my final dissertation year. And I was sad about that because I wasn't about to like finish and graduate. I just wasn't ready to do that. Um, and I was also like really pumped about like going abroad and I just, it was sad, but at the same time I was like, well, I wouldn't rather be in Wyoming, um, purely because of the weather and like, I like, I want to be in like a bustling city. So anyway, that was that, whatever. Then comes 2023, so technically last year now, May, April time, March, April, April time. And I get an email saying, oh, by the way, someone's dropped out of SFSU, San Francisco State University. Do you want a place? So this was the study abroad team emailing me. And that's when I was like, yeah. I wanted to do this like my whole life pretty much. Okay, that's an exaggeration. I wanted to do this for like as long as I applied. But I I don't know what to do now because I'm like preparing to go into my third year. And now I'm going to have to like 
not sign the contract to the house that I was literally about to sign and not sign up for the modules that I was about to sign for third year and rethink the whole trajectory of my life in about a week. So that was really, really hard because I didn't know what to do. So I remember calling up my mum. I spoke to all my friends. I got advice from like everybody around me. And surprisingly, everyone was super positive about it. And they're like, you need to go. Like it was, you know, that space opened up for you to go. The opportunity is there for you. Like you have to go. You're never going to get the chance ever again in life. So I was like, oh crap, you're right. Blah, blah, blah. Well, what do I do? So then I was like, I, I was like stressed because like as much as I wanted to do it, I was like, crap, like if I accept it, it becomes real. Like it becomes my reality. Do you know what I mean? It's not just like something on paper or whatever. It's like, I will be going there and I have to book flights to go there, you know? So whatever. So that happened. And then I was like, okay, let me just speak to Sergio Ball to finalize my decision. So I did that. I had like a meeting with them and I spoke to like these other people who went there and I was like literally prodding and grabbing every ounce of information out of them I could about the whole program just to make me feel really reassured that I was making the right decision. And, um, Everything sort of just fell into place after that. It was like fairly smooth after that in terms of the visa and stuff. And now here I am in San Francisco. So moving out in general has taught me so much about like adult life. Like I feel like if someone just threw me into the real world, I would alhamdulillah probably be able to manage because I think I've got the skills that it takes now in terms of like just being able to like look after myself and be completely independent. I would not have been able to say the same thing if I was 18 and still in Anglia Ruskin and everything, you know, didn't lead up to this point in my life. If I was still staying in Cambridge, I wouldn't be able to say the same thing. I wouldn't be able to like handle my own finances um, because Alhamdulillah here, I don't really have a job, but I'm still being able to like use my savings and like sort of, I've got a sort of semi online job to sort of make ends meet and stuff and to also be able to balance like things that I need to spend money on, like laundry and food, etc., transport, and things that I want to spend money on to have a good fun fulfilling time so I feel like that's something I'm able to like balance like sort of like a work social life as well as like my whole academic life and everything homesickness is also another thing I had to deal with moving out I feel like second year moving out it didn't affect me so much because I was already just used to like living away from home it was whatever but it did affect me more when I was like at home with family for long periods of time like Christmas or Ramadan um and then when I would like come home and then that's when it hit me I was like Ugh. I'm all alone and I miss family I miss like just I am such an extroverted person and I love just having my social battery refilled by interacting with other humans in life and I just felt like my energy was so depleted when I didn't have people around me because I'm not a lone body like I can't be alone I can't that's why I'm making videos now to just fill up the void because I'm so alone here right now it's Christmas period the new semester doesn't start till February and I'm here completely isolated completely alone completely alone like fully as alone as i can be in this building so but you know what that's another thing that i'm still learning from this whole experience of moving out is how to enjoy my own company which is what i'm trying to do sort of that's sort of like an overview of me moving out it's sort of like a bit rushed but also like i feel like i've been speaking for a really long time if you've got any specific questions or comments do put in the comment section below because i'm really interested to know what you guys have to say and the main reason that i did this and stepped out of my comfort zone and my boundaries is really to just inspire other people to do the exact same thing because as much as it's hard you grow so much and you will not regret it like i promise you any step you take outside your comfort zone you will not regret because i don't regret any bit of anything that i did ever like there was, you know, points in my life where I was like, oh damn, I wish I applied to this university in London because I always dreamed of going to London. But I'm like, wait, if I did that, I wouldn't have been in UEA study abroad program and I wouldn't be in San Francisco right now, which is just amazing. So everything really, really, really does happen for a reason. And I really think it's important that you take that and play into its part by like doing what you can to step out of your comfort zone and do things that scare you because if you're not scared to do it, then you probably are not going to grow. There's probably a better way to phrase that, but you know what I mean? um that's kind of like the main points that i can think of sort of like my little storyline of how i moved out and everything and my life at this moment now but yeah if you guys have got any like questions or whatever do let me know because i just want to see like your insight or things you've got to say also if you want to know specific like specific things about moving out like how i dealt with cooking for myself how i dealt with the challenges things i specifically grew from it whatever do let me know and I might do like more tailored like specific specific videos because like I said this was just more of like an overview like a timeline kind of thing but regardless I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one.